Santa Monica, California is a city of contrasts. It's a place where the hustle bustle of Los Angeles meets the serenity of the Pacific Ocean. It's a place where some of the best shopping in the world meets rampant homelessness. And on the corner of 22nd Street in Washington, in an unassuming residential area, Santa Monica is where suburbia meets deconstructivist architecture. This is the home of renowned architect Frank Gehry. He is a living icon, the man responsible for some of the world's best-known architectural masterpieces. Now, I'm a resident of Santa Monica. I live a few blocks from here. And when I found out that Gary not only lives around the corner, but that he lives in one of his own best-known architectural works, I found it hard to believe. This is the man that designed the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao, Spain, the Dancing House in Prague, the Experience Music Project in Seattle, and the Walt Disney Concert Hall right here in downtown Los Angeles. This is one of the biggest names in contemporary architecture and design, with perhaps the most recognizable style. And I probably stood in line behind him at the supermarket. Like most of his works, Gary's residence doesn't exactly fit in with its surroundings. It's a modernist hodgepodge of unconventional materials and shapes, a redux of typical suburban housing. Gary completed construction of the home in 1978, and it put him on the map as an innovator. While the completion of the Gary home in Santa Monica was a seminal event in the world of architecture, it wasn't met with open arms by neighbors. A number of local residents considered the house an eyesore, and it's rumored that some of them even brought their dogs to use Gary's yard on a regular basis, 